بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ویلکم ٹو اسٹار اکیڈمی ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو لیسن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ایجوکیشنل سائیکالوجی وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس سائیکالوجی اینڈ اٹس امپورٹنٹ برانچز ان پریویس ویڈیو لیسن آئی ول شیئر دا لنک آف دا ویڈیو لیسن ان ڈسکرپشن ٹوڈے فرسٹ وی ول سی واٹ از سائیکالوجی دین واٹ از ایجوکیشنل سائیکالوجی nature of educational psychology and at last we will study scope of educational psychology so first is what is psychology psychology in simple words is defined by sultan muhammad he states that the word psychology is a greek word psyche means soul and logos mean science thus the meaning of psychology is the science of soul according to earlier psychologist like sultan muhammad the function of psychology was to study the nature origin and destiny of human soul but soul is something metaphysical it cannot be seen observed and touched and we cannot make scientific experiment on soul william james in 1892 defined psychology as the science of mental processes so in 18th century psychology was understood as the science of mind but the word mind is also quite ambiguous as there was confusion regarding the nature and function of mind in 1905 William MacDougall defined psychology as the science of behavior W B Pillsbury and J B Watson also defined psychology as the science of behavior Behavior generally means overt activities which can be observed and measured scientifically but one's behavior is always influenced by his experiences so when we study one's behavior we must also study his experiences psychology should therefore be defined as the science of behavior and experiences on human beings these are the words of skinner According to Skinner psychology is the science of behavior and experiences on human beings according to crow and crow psychology is the study of human behavior and human relationship What is educational psychology Educational psychology is that branch of psychology in which the findings of psychology are applied in the field of education it is the scientific study of human behavior in educational setting so the application of psychology in the field of education is called educational psychology education by all means is an attempt to mold and shape the behavior of the pupil it aims to produce desirable changes in him for the all round development of his personality the essential knowledge and skill to do this job satisfactorily is supplied by educational psychology according to charles e skinner Educational psychology deals with the behavior of human beings in educational situation. Thus, educational psychology is a behavioral science with two main references, human behavior and education. So, when we study the behavior of a person in educational situation this is 
एक्चुअली एजुकेशनल साइकोलॉजी पील डिफाइन एजुकेशनल साइकोलॉजी educational psychology is the science of education so this is the simplest and modern definition of educational psychology that educational psychology is the science of education educational psychology helps the teacher to understand the development of his peoples the range and limits of their capacities the processes by which they learn and their social relationship The work of uh, the educational psychologist resembles with that of an engineer who is a te technical expert. The engineer supplies all the knowledge and skills essential for the accomplishment of the job satisfactorily. For example, construction of a bridge. So in construction of a bridge, engineer applies all his efforts to make the work perfect. Similarly, the function of educational psychologist in the field of education is the same as that of an engineer. In this way, educational psychologist, who is a technical expert in the field of education, supplies all the information, principles and techniques essential for understanding the behavior of the people in response to educational environment and desired modification of his behavior to bring an all-round development of his personality. In this way, it is quite reasonable to call educational psychology as the science and technology of education. Educational psychology concerned primarily with understanding the processes of teaching and learning they take place within formal environments and developing ways of improving those methods. It covers important topics like learning theories, teaching methods, motivation, cognitive, emotional and moral development and parent-child relationship. So in educational psychology, the important topics are learning theories, teaching methods, motivation, cognitive, emotional and moral development and the relationship of a child with his parent. Nature of Educational Psychology Kelly listed the nature of educational psychology as follows to give a knowledge of the nature of child to give understanding of the nature aims and purposes of education To give understanding of the scientific methods and procedures which have been used in arriving at the facts and principles of educational psychology. Number four, to present the principle and techniques of learning and teaching. Number five, to give training in methods of measuring abilities and achievements in school subjects. Number six, to give a knowledge of the growth and development of children. Number seven, to assist in the better adjustment of children and to help them to prevent maladjustment. Number eight, to study the educational significance and control the emotions and to give an understanding of the principle and techniques of correct training.
educational psychology is a science. Like any other science, educational psychology also has developed objective methods of collection of data. It also aims to understanding, predicting and controlling human behavior. Number two, educational psychology is a natural science. An educational psychologist conducts his investigation, gathers his data and reads his conclusions in exactly the same manner as physicist or the biologist. So educational psychologists work like a physicist or a biologist. Educational psychology is a social science. Like the sociologist, anthropologist, economist or political scientist, the educational psychologist studies human beings and their social abilities. So we can say educational psychology is a social science. Number four, educational psychology is a positive science. A positive science deals with facts as they are or as they operate. Educational psychology studies the child's behavior as it is, not as it ought to be. So it is a positive science. Means educational psychology study the reality not the idealism so we can say that educational psychology is a positive science educational psychology is an applied science it is the application of psychological principle in the field of education by applying the principle and techniques of psychology it tries to study the behavior and experiences of the peoples as a branch of psychology it is parallel to any other applied psychology for example educational psychology draws heavily facts from such areas as developmental psychology clinical psychology abnormal psychology and social psychology so we can say that in the light of these statements that educational psychology is an applied psychology or applied science. Educational psychology is a developing or growing science. It is concerned with new and ever new researches as research findings accumulate educational psychologists get better insight into the child's nature and behavior. Scope of Educational Psychology The scope of educational psychology is ever growing due to constantly research in this field. The following factors will indicate the scope of educational psychology. Number one, the learner. The subject matter of educational psychology is united around the learner. The topic includes the innate abilities and capacities of the individuals. Number two, individual differences and their measurements. Number three, the overt. Number four, covert. Number five, conscious as well as unconscious behavior of the learner. Number six, the characteristic of his growth and development and number seven each stage beginning from childhood to adulthood Number two, the learning experiences.
Educational psychology helps in deciding what learning experiences are desirable at what stage of the growth and development of the learner so that these experiences can be acquired with a great ease and satisfaction. Number three, learning process. After knowing the learners and deciding what learning experiences are to be provided, educational psychology moves on to the laws, principles and theories of learning. Other items in the learning process are remembering and forgetting, ways and means of effective learning, thinking and reasoning, concept formation, problem solving, transfer of le learning, perceiving. Number four, learning situation or environment. Here we deal with the environmental factors and learning situations which come midway between the learner and the teacher. Topics for the smooth functioning of the teaching learning process include classroom climate and group dynamics, techniques and aids that facilitate learning and evaluation, techniques and practices, guidance and counseling, number five the teacher which is the most important one. The teacher is a powerful force in any scheme of teaching and learning process. Educational psychology discusses the role of the teacher. Educational psychology emphasizes the need of knowing himself or herself for a teacher to play his role properly in the process of education, his or her conflicts, motivation, anxiety, adjustment, level of aspiration, etc. Educational psychology throws light on the essential personality traits, interest, aptitude, the characteristics of effective teaching etc so as to inspire him for becoming a successful teacher educational psychology discusses the role of a teacher so what is the role of a teacher and it also emphasizes for a teacher to know himself or herself so a teacher can perform his role and can perform his duties well in the education process. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and write us in comments what you want to learn.